The Global Citizen Award is given to an individual who's making a contribution through their professional and personal lives to build a better world. And my next guest just received said award from the United Nations Association in Canada. Happy to welcome back to Halton News, Minister Anita Anand. Good afternoon. Hi, Jason. Nice to see you. Well, thanks for coming back on. And are you actually able to absorb this award and recognize it in your life? Or is it just on to the next thing? Well, Jason, I'm very honored to receive this award. I worked at the United Nations in the Human Rights Division after my first year at law school. And now to be recognized in this way, it's especially meaningful because I do hold great faith in the United Nations. And in my role as Minister of National Defense, I'm able to have a bird's eye view of the importance of the United Nations in terms of global peace and security, and in terms of UN peacekeepers and our Canadian Armed Forces actually play a meaningful role in that part of the organization as well. So I'm very honored and thanks for asking the question. So you were in all of what you do, you were just traveling in Brasilia last week and had an effort to get the countries of the Americas to denounce the war in Ukraine. Uh, was it considered a successful effort? Did everyone get together and agree that maybe this shouldn't be happening? There was some negotiation about the amendment which Canada introduced, in fact, denouncing Russian invasion of Ukraine. And we were able to bring a number of countries on side, Uruguay, Colombia, the United States, Ecuador and Guatemala, Haiti, for example. We were very pleased that at the end of the day, the amendment went through because everywhere I go, Jason, I do make sure that people know Canada's position on the war is that the sovereignty and the stability and the security of Ukraine are fundamentally important for Ukraine's longevity and for the upholding of the international rules-based order. So we're gonna to have to split this interview half half and it seems so crazy to speak of what's going on in the Ukraine, but I mean, you are the MP for Oakville. We are Halton News. We talk local matters all the time. So let's slide back there now. And you know, when you speak with people from Oakville, what do you find is the most pressing issue right now that people speak to you about and want you to get on top of? Well, Jason, across this country, including in Oakville, the cost of living and rising inflation is fundamentally important. That's why our government is permanently increasing the old age security by 10% for those 75 and up. And we are also increasing the Canada Child Benefit, which has already lifted 400,000 kids out of poverty. Uh, we are increasing it to be about $6,000 per child. And so we'll continue supporting families and making sure that Canadians are well protected and well served. Now, a lot of that, the especially the inflation, is definitely the here and now. And, you know, raising these grants to combat that is definitely all here now. But looking forward into the future, what steps have been taken in the region for electric vehicle infrastructure? Because this is definitely uh, a lot of the buzz as we look towards, you know, not 2030 or 2040, but even 2050, many years into the future. Well, Jason... Both times that I have been on the campaign trail, I have heard from Oakville residents how important a green economy is for them, how important environmental sustainability is for this area. And our government, in fact, is very committed to reducing carbon emissions. And that is why during EV week, which just passed, uh, we announced that we are investing $150,000 to install 21 connectors and chargers in Oakville and 6,000 across the country. We'll continue investing in electric vehicles, including by investing in the Ford plant, which I was uh, very pleased to announce with my colleague, then Minister Nav Baines uh, last year. We'll continue to make sure that we're doing what is necessary for Oakville and for the country as we move forward to a greener, cleaner future. Okay, we've talked about war, we've talked about inflation, we've looked ahead to the future with the electric vehicle infrastructure. 
Can we just talk about this summer? You are a busy person. Do you get to take a break? Do you get summer holidays? I'm just, I'm legitimately curious because there's always something else to do and always something else to, you know, be on top of. Well, Jason, as I said, I do have four kids and Mm. I really love spending time with them. And I have been able to see them this summer. And that has been obviously the joy of my life and my summer. And I'll continue to do what it takes to make sure that I'm fulfilling my role as member of parliament and minister, as well as spending time with my family and my dogs, which I just love doing. Fantastic. Well, I appreciate your time today. Go spend a little time with the kids and the dogs, and we'll speak to you again very soon. Thank you, Minister Anand. Thanks a lot, Jason. Take care. We'll talk soon. 